What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor, DVDJ, and use code your boy Bugs for 10% off at checkout. And yeah, man, check them out. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we are going to go over some market talk. As per usual, I'm thinking about a no money spent squad gameplay and some other content. Before we get into the video, let's get 100 likes on the video. Can we do it? 100 likes on the video. You guys will receive some MT on Twitter with the giveaways. And also, um, Make sure to follow my Twitter because we also do the giveaways on there. Make sure to drop the sub. We're so close to 7K, bro. Make sure to drop that sub. Before we get into the video, we're going to end. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. And yo, look at this squad first off. It's freaking dirty. Without further ado, man, let's get into the market. Let's make some MT. Let's talk about it. Let's just literally vibe real quick. Um, the market's up a ton. The market has rose so much, and I'm hyped. Um, also, if you guys want MT on Xbox, hit my Twitter down below. I'm selling some of my million MT, so let me know. We're also going to give away MT, so just if you're in the video, make sure let me know. Before we get into it, though, the market is up so much. Some players are obviously down, like the new Opals, because they're going to drop. But, yo, one person I want to talk about is this MJ, okay? About a week ago, I sold mine for 220k. He's up to around 300,000 MT. Is this Jordan worth 300,000 MT? Nah. In my opinion, no. I mean, yeah, but I've played with him, and honestly, I don't think he's worth it. Um... I'm playing with RJ Barrett as my shooting guard right now, and he's absolutely amazing. So I don't know if I feel about this card. Um, 300K, in my opinion, isn't worth it. Um, forget that. Um, I've been sniping a lot, and what I've been noticing with the trends, the Ami filter, honestly, is kind of broken. I'm not going to lie. So with the new trend, the new hot filter, in my opinion, is the diamond filter. Or the Ami 20 filter. So this is the other filter I've been rocking with to make my MT. Um, not Series 2. Just regular NBA 20. Um, Amethyst, bro. Buy out around 5-ish K. And this is the new filter, in my opinion, that's money. So if you want to sell this filter, I would recommend. It's pretty quick sniping. But, yo. Before we get on to some more market talk, this filter, bro, is my, my go-to as of late. So you guys should probably hop on it. 4,500 diamond, bro. It's honestly so money right now. So... Let me know how it goes for you. It's been really good for me. Just let me know. Um, besides that, so I want to talk about a lot of things. I just want to talk about how much the market has risen and how much you empty you could be making by just simply selling your cards. So let's go over to this filter here. This is my main filter I look at. So if you guys remember my video, Aaron Gore is at 80k. He has risen 13k. There is like no market movement right now since Friday. So Friday was like a little market crash. Now we don't really have that much market movement. The market's actually risen a ton. Only players are obviously dropping are the players in packs because I mean that makes sense. Um, that's why other everything's going up because these these cards are getting less valued, and then everything else is gonna drop with them. I mean, drop are gonna go up because those cards are getting less valued because those cards are actually very valuable in this game. And a lot of cards, a lot of kids actually do want those cards. But there's a lot to talk about. So if you guys do remember, let me think. Some cards are obviously down, not gonna lie, but most of them are up. And honestly, right now is not a bad time to sell considering we're probably gonna get a buzzer beater soon. First off, the prime cards are up through the roof. Dwayne Wade and Kristaps are up big time. Um we got the Pete Maravich is going off. Every card from a buzzer beater set is a good investment. I came to the conclusion because every time they drop a buzzer beater, if you think about it, bro, not a lot of people pull those packs. And when they do, the prices are kind of valued. So Pete Maravich, for instance, was going for what, like 40 something K? He's at around 53K. Same with Draws and Petrovic. If you guys remember the first buzzer beater thing, bro, Draws and Petrovic was around 30,000 MT. 
he's rocking around 40 something now so pretty much he was around 50 so the market is decently high it's not a bad time to sell but it's not a crash it's sort of in the middle if it's in the middle because it was higher yesterday if it is in the middle that pretty much means i think a market crash is coming um i think kids are starting to realize that since we're getting closer and closer to end game it pretty much means that as we go on you're gonna see um prices sort of just all come together and drop because like pink diamonds are actually not valued as much anymore considering there's so many pink diamonds they're really not that much valued anymore um not only that bro so many diamonds are so op so pink i feel like pink diamonds aren't really as op anymore i'm gonna say this because you could buy diamonds that are just as good as pink diamonds for like 100k less so that's why i'm saying obviously the market is gonna crash sooner or later but right now i'm just sitting here and just like what is going on like you should honestly sell your cards today because honestly i think from here on out we're gonna see a market dip so if the market does dip i honestly would just recommend you guys listen to me so one player i want to talk about that did dip that you guys shouldn't pick up though because he's going to continue to dip is this pink diamond magic in my opinion this card is straight trash and i'm going to tell you why um if you versus anybody like lebron Giannis, or the ben simmons or the levine this card is so freaking sluggish how was his speed i mean he's so sluggish i mean 93 speed he seems so slow this card is trash if you actually want to pick up this card you're crazy do not pick up this card it's jump shots garbage literally if you want to pick up this card wait i think his card is going to drop i think a lot of point guards that are pink diamond are going to drop deer and fox jimmy for debt's already cheap westbrook's going to drop Kyrie's going to drop lillard lebron already dropped so literally i think that the market is going to continue to go down like this is literally just a marketed video since i do think that i recommend selling your cards today i honestly think everybody's home there's a lot of market flow not really snipe wise but i would say price price wise a lot of prices are slowly going down also ybc did drop that video yesterday so that kind of did destroy the market so literally right now i'm just gonna say you gotta listen to me bro like straight up if you don't sell your cards today and they drop buzzer beaters today you don't got that mt up i honestly you're gonna regret it you're definitely gonna regret it because if you don't sell today and you don't have mt to spare you're not gonna make mt not only that if they drop buzzer beaters investments on the diamond filter are going to be key and honestly like i said bro cars are starting to dip like i honestly sit on the game all day i know what prices are i know what i'm talking about obviously i have no screenshots up but i've been on the i've been on 2k for days straight i literally have had no sleep honestly so what i've been noticing with the market's trends is it goes up and down lately it's been surfing towards down and i think it's because of the fact that we haven't had flash in a while and we have a prime player coming if you guys remember when the prime player came bro market crashed like crazy so in my opinion i think we are going to get a prime luka Doncic, and i honestly think luka Doncic would be insane we're gonna get one we don't we have a we have so many diamond lukas we have no pink diamonds we're getting an opal luka whether you like it or not that card is going to be absolutely disgusting so my predictions when they do drop prime super packs you have got to invest in prime players because they go up so much if you remember bro when the other prime packs came out prime super packs they dropped real quick they dropped in the first hour after the first hour they rose like that like if you remember when they dropped the flash super packs too larry bird all them dropped so much and i scooped a ton of them for like 70k Bosch was 60k he's around 100k now i think he dropped to like 90 though but it just shows super packs are honestly garbage in my opinion they're actually can't even use them with mt it's just a money grabber but with that being said we're gonna see some crazy content come through the week in my opinion bro everyone's home they want to make their money market crash is coming so honestly without further ado we're actually gonna end this video just let me know what you guys think about this let me know if you're hyped or no money spent because i'm hyped but yeah that's really all i got for the video i hope you guys did enjoy have a good one guys